How's it going, guys? My name is Zach with the Movie Castle, and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. You see, I normally do straightforward reviews on this channel, but every now and then I shake it up, and uh, today uh, I, I just have a lot of questions. You know, Halloween Kills recently came out, cool movie, lots of crazy stuff happened, but that leaves me wondering what will happen to Michael Myers in Halloween Ends. You know, it's supposedly the last movie of the Blumhouse trilogy, and you do a big epic climax, stuff might happen a lot more likely than in other movies. And I uh, put together seven questions that I have of what will Michael Myers do in his uh, third part of this trilogy. So I'm going to do the questions, I'm going to say my thoughts, and then give a percentage that I think it will actually happen. So, uh, a few questions here. Now, uh, that being said, if you guys want to uh, leave your uh, opinions, like if I say a question and you have an idea like, oh, I think this will happen, uh, definitely let me know. And if you guys have any questions like things you think might happen in Halloween Ends, feel free to let me know as well. Um, also, uh, before we get into this, uh, spoilers for Halloween, Halloween 2018, and Halloween Kills. So, if you guys haven't seen those movies... Uh, go ro watch them really quick. They're pretty fun. Uh, but anyway, let's get right down into this. The first question I have, I figured we'd get kind of the oddball out of the way first, is uh, number one, will Michael Myers be in any way supernatural or magical? Now this may seem like kind of an oddball question, but there has been magic in the series before, in particular parts three, parts five, and part six. So it's not entirely unheard of, and there are a few things in Halloween uh, Kills that kind of uh, point towards this. You know, most obviously, the vision that the mom gets of young Michael Myers standing in the window. But you get Laurie Strode talking about how the more he kills, the more he transcends, and that a human couldn't have survived that fire. And then it, it makes me wonder, is he in some way fueled by fear and hatred, you know? What if that ending scene with the mob, what if in the first round he was letting them attack him because he was building up from their fear and hatred and sort of powering himself up? And maybe. You know, I'm not saying that it is. Um, you know, I think that in most ways they want to keep Michael Myers' magic metaphorical, you know, where it won't actually be that he's magical, but it'll kind of metaphorically be like he is. Now... Will there be some magic even in a very minor, minor form in Halloween Ends? Maybe. I'm going to put it at a solid 33% that there'll be some kind of magic, even if it's minor. Uh, part 2. Um, will we get Michael Myers' uh, backstory slash motivation more fleshed out? You know, in Halloween Kills, they said that he stared at his sister's window all day, and they say that after he kills people, he just wants to go home and stare out his sister's window. Now, why is that? Why is he obsessed with that room? Are we going to get a revelation in Halloween uh, Ends? What exactly happened between Michael Myers and his sister? What made him snap? Because they said he was a relatively normal kid, then one day he snapped, and then he never said anything afterwards. Are we going to find out why? I'm thinking, what if we get a flashback sequence to young Michael Myers, Halloween night, way back when he was just that little boy in the clown costume? Are we going to see what happened and give us, you know, the full story as to why Michael Myers snapped? Maybe, you know, I could go for a reason, you know, the, the Thorn trilogy obviously had a reason, so I'm, I'm curious to see if they'll explain it to us, but then again, Michael Myers is supposed to be a mystery. You're not really supposed to know why he snapped, but I am curious, you know, so that one I could go for a solid 50-50, that either they tell us or they don't. I'm not 100% sure. Um, up next, question number three. Will Michael Myers say something? Now, this is obviously uh, because the 2018 movie, several times they said, did Michael Myers say anything? What will he say? And it was uh, Dr. Uh, Sartain 
was very curious about this, and it came up a few times. The podcasters wanted to get him to say something. Now, Michael Myers said very little in this whole series, you know, with the exception of the Rob Zombie movies where young Michael Myers talks quite a bit, and then older Myers says, like, one line. Outside of the zombie movies, Michael Myers doesn't talk. And they say he can talk, but he doesn't. And with it being such a key point from Halloween 2018, the new psychiatrist really wanting to know, Dr. Sartain, did he say something? Was it the name of his sister? So I kind of wonder if he will say something. This is one of those things that it would be interesting to do for a final movie, but it is definitely breaking one of the Myers rules. So I am curious if he'll say something, even if it's just one word. Will it be his sister's name? You know, I... <coughs> I don't know. I'm going to say this one's pretty low. I'm going to say 25% chance he says something. Up next, uh, question four, what will Michael Myers do for four years? Um, according to rumor, Halloween Ends is probably going to take place four years after Halloween Kills. Uh, you got to give Lori some time to recover, right? But what will Michael Myers do in four years? Now, Normally, between sequels, he's just in Smith's Grove, you know, just hanging out in his, you know, cell. Now, we have had him out between sequels before. He was either, you know, being taken care of by a hermit or the Cult of Thorn. But what will Michael Myers do in the four years between movies? Will he be in the woods as like a woodland madman? That's more Jason Voorhees' deal. Will we just not know... Or will he come back every Halloween and kill people for four years? I, I'm kind of curious. My bet, though, is that he'll disappear. He'll obviously have had to be doing something, but I don't think we'll get any clue what he did for four years. I think he'll just be gone, and then there'll be some inciting incident four years later, something that will make him show back up. And I don't think we'll find out what happens between movies, or at least... I think there's a good chance of it. Let's say 35% chance that we don't find out any sort of backstory as to what he did during the time gap. Let's let's say that. Uh, now moving on to the last three, the, the big interesting questions. Uh, part five, will Michael Myers be unmasked? Now, this is an interesting question. They've made a big deal about taking his mask off. That's how the one girl survived is trying to take off his mask and then he has to go fix it. You know, he really, really likes this thing on, but there is, you know, several times, like when he was at the hospital, and you got to see just the sliver side of his face, and then the camera goes out of focus when his picture pops up on the news. Like, I'm thinking, you know, we've seen just enough of Michael Myers' face for so long in this series, you know, for Halloween and for Halloween Kills, we saw just a little bit where we can get an idea what he looks like, but we really don't know exactly, unless we Google the actor's face, but will, in his final movie, Michael Myers be unmasked? I say that's a probably a pretty good chance. Probably during the final battle between Michael Myers and Laurie Strode, I bet that mask is going to come off and we'll finally, for the first time in the series, get a good look at his face the first time since he was briefly unmasked in the original Halloween movie, it's pretty rare for Meyer's mask to come off. Jason, it's a, it's a tradition to take his mask off and see his progressively uglier and uglier face every movie. But Michael Myers, like, you know, part one, there's a little bit in part five where he's, you know, backlit and it's just a silhouette. But it's very, very rare. But I think for the last one, they'll do it. So I'm going to say... 80% chance that they'll unmask Michael Myers. Um, the last two, these are the big ones. Will Michael Myers kill Laurie Strode? This is a case of it's the last one in the trilogy. Anything can happen. I think that's uh, what Scream 3 said. And will Michael Myers kill Laurie Strode? You know, that's kind of a depriving us of a happy ending, but a distinct possibility because, you know, as Laurie Strode said in the hospital, she thinks they're tethered together. He can't die unless she does. Now, that's her theory. It's in no way, you know, 
founded by any sort of, you know, non-magical fact, but will Laurie Strode die? And, you know, she's going to be fighting Michael Myers again. It's the last movie. I think there's a pretty good chance, you know, if she dies, but Andy Matichak still lives, it's still a happy enough ending. But yeah, really, if this is going to wrap up Michael Myers' story, it's probably going to wrap up hers as well, and I think there's a good chance she's going to die. I'll put it at about a 75% chance she does. Now, this last question is, I think, the biggest one on everybody's mind. It's, you know, what this all builds to, Halloween ends. And this is, will Michael Myers definitively, 100%, die. Will Michael Myers die? And I'm not talking fall off a cliff, oh I'm sure he's dead, or make it look like he's probably dead like at the end of Halloween 2018, you know, where it looks like he's gonna burn up but then he disappears and you know there's gonna be a sequel. Will Michael Myers 100% without a doubt be definitively killed off at the end of Halloween Ends? And this is the thing, this is what the whole series is building up towards, it's the whole what the angry mob wants. Will, at the end of this trilogy, Michael Myers die? And I think probably. Now, I'm not saying they won't retcon it, you know, like, oh, wow, Halloween ends, made a billion dollars. Uh, let's say that that was a paramedic, you know, like, I'm not saying that they won't retcon it, but within the world of this movie, I think he kind of has to, you know, it's the big end of the trilogy, it's something that they haven't really done before, doing this, pushing it to its natural conclusion, the big epic climax, Michael Myers has to die, right? Maybe not, I'm gonna give this an 85% chance that Michael Myers dies at the end of this movie. Now, again, maybe they'll ride around this in, you know, Halloween Ends Part 2, but um, I think Michael Myers is probably going to die. What, what do you guys think? So, so those are the questions I had, you know. Will he be supernatural? Will we get a motivation? Will he say something? What will he do in four years? Will he be unmasked? Will he kill Lori? And will he die? And that is the big questions. And if you guys have any more questions, let me know. Or if you guys have answers to those, like what you think will happen, let me know as well. You know, like I said, I normally do standard reviews, but it's fun when you have a new movie come out to, to take a few wild guesses, you know? Um, and hey, it's just for fun, right? So what do you guys think? I'd be curious. Anyway, to everyone who's watched so far, thank you for watching. To everyone who's liked and subscribed, uh, thank you. You really are helping the channel out. I'll put a relevant playlist on the bottom. This will probably be my Halloween playlist, so if you guys want to see what I thought of other Halloween movies, that's right there in the bottom. Anyway, have a good day. I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Relevant playlist on the bottom. Have a good day now.